سلام سلام Uh, I was a student and I really needed to make money. So I started to write for a public, uh, for actually a local magazine in, in Mashhad, in uh, northeast of Iran. Uh, and, and then uh, it was my first step to be part of the media or mainstream media. John, and do you want me to, you'll know from the shop where you want me to look, do you want me to look to you? From 18, I always wanted to work in media. I, was, I wanted to be a journalist, I wanted to be an author before that. I ended up working for the Witch Stable of Magazines and Books. And then I just um, built my way up from there. I found out what bits of media I really enjoyed. I loved interviewing people, I loved being on TV. Um, and my career really grew from there. And you can ask me the questions and I'll just, I'll look at you and I'll do my responses. Here with radio, everybody's always coming in and out there. So, you see lots of people looking for celebs. Well, I started out originally in radio just over 20 years ago. Um, I thought that was a really good way to get into the industry. I started out by being a trainee journalist and learning how to be a producer as well. Um, I then realised after 10 years in radio that actually the industry was starting to change. So I moved into online. Uh, I did a couple of years with that, then learnt about video. Um, and I went back to radio to bring that all together so I could create things like podcasts and podcasts uh, and online video editorial. And that was then I decided to move into TV where I've been for the last five years presenting uh, and producing television shows as well as writing them and coming up with fresh ideas too. Okay. What's my eyeliner? Uh, so you're facing me. Right. Yeah. I went to University at London College of Fashion to study makeup design. Then uh, when I left, I got a normal job and did a lot of work for free on the side. Um, approached different production companies and tried to get some assisting work and work experience. But actually, what the first thing to get me into the industry was uh, Maverick TV were filming in Covent Garden. They were filming a program called 10 Years Younger. I tapped them on the shoulder and asked for some assisting, and I got it, and that was my first break. Uh, yep. This, is, this would be interesting to you. What you learn at the university from courses like media, if you study media or something like that. Um, when you when you enter the industry, it's a bit different. Not all the rules apply, and you have to because because things are different here. Things are changing very fast and with, the, with the technology. I mean, there's there's always something new. News is is old, you know, new developments. So you have to start working. It's you shouldn't just confine yourself to your studies and things like that. You should do something. You should get in the industry. You know, go for an, for an apprenticeship or do, do whatever it, it takes to enter the industry. But really you do need to use things like apprenticeships or training schemes and the BBC and Channel 4 both run brilliant schemes. Some of them don't pay, so it's quite difficult to do that if you're living in London and trying to get started in the industry. Um, but really, if you can get up to one that will pay you even the minimum wage would be great. You know, you can still learn on the job and be able to live and work in London, which is really crucial. You need to be really ambitious from my personal uh, experience mm. and at the same time it is a place that you need to be really really creative mm. if you are ambitious if you're creative and if you like diversity this is your place <laughs>